This week we test out our new dinghy, Sam Bell, head on over to Raspberry Island, experience tranquility at anchor and on the beach. And while we get our sailing in, Kelly learns how to deal with healing, all before we have to head home again. We are currently suburban homeowners. We'd love to be sailing cruisers, but for now, we're in the middle. We're back up at the boat. Stefan was here last weekend. He came home. Put my dad in assisted living, got him in his all set in his apartment, then came back up here for the week. Yay! Like a I know how to put him in. Do you want me to do it? Huh? Do you want me to do it? I know how to do it. No, I, I mean, I'm getting it now. Stefan's had the seats all uh, apart. Anyway, we're going to unload. We're still having some leaking problems on the windows, but Stefan put another layer of some stuff. Yeah, the good news is the stuff the leak finder stuff that I put on there. It starts off white and then it turns clear when it cures. And so there's actually, the window actually is kind of shaped more like this. So there's a blank spot here where there's window there and it's all sealant behind it. And I can see like a white, there's a big white swath in there. So it's obviously getting drawn in. And it's so good. So if we keep doing it, eventually it'll work. You know. There was a hailstorm here. It was bad. And some rain did leak in, but it's good because it shows us where the leaks are. So well, we can... and I was here. Yeah, he was here. So. These windows continue to be our nemesis throughout the season, as you'll see. But for now, our new dinghy, Sam Bell. All right, I'm getting the. Today we're going to officially launch the dinghy at the marina because we're going to go out today. But first, we got to get it out of the locker. And it's heavy. Figure out a good system for doing this. All right. Although we did do a lot of testing out of our ability to put Sam Bell together at home, this is the first time we've had her up at Saros. Um, we wanted to make sure we could get her out and put together efficiently. Anyway, before all that, here's her unboxing. This is the dinghy. What kind of dinghy is it? It is a brine. Um, I don't know, nine footer. It uh, has an aluminum floor. Uh, otherwise, it's a, you know, it's a roll up inflatable. It's not a, it's not a rib per se because it doesn't have a um, any kind of solid um, hull, but it does have a bit of a V. Oh. So it's so, inflatable, but it's got some solid parts, right? Uh, yeah, so, and it's solid enough that it's, it will plane, supposedly, whereas the really dinky flat bottomed ones will plane. This one supposedly will with the six force motor that we don't yet have. Here she is, all blown up. Anyway, you don't have the metal stuff in it though, right? No, and actually, I think I gotta deflate it a little bit. Get that in. Once we got that six horsepower engine, we did some breaking in and test time on Forest Lake near home. It was a beautiful day, and although the wildlife in Minnesota and Wisconsin does not include dolphins, we did get to see some loons. We're at Forest Lake today. This is near where I used to live. We're testing out the new dinghy in the water today. We're going to break her in. Stefan did the 10 minute water test. He just had it on the back of the thing that he made, a little holder. Now we're going to take it out for an hour on the lake on this beautiful Sunday. And she started. We're officially offshore. Now let's head back to Saros in Bayfield.
you practicing backwards? Very lovely. Little water ballet there. What are you doing? He's trying to hit the dog, I guess. We have our Dee! Hi Dee! Stefan thinks we should take the motor off next time. We will. We will hang in there. Um, we also got our measurements for our Dodger and Vimini today, Vimini today, so hopefully soon we'll have those. Um, we are heading over to... Where are we heading? Michigan. Michigan Island. Michigan Island in the Apostle Island because they are open now. So we can actually anchor there. Yeah, so they just opened up again with COVID. Um, they were, before the first time we took it sailing, you could only, you could anchor around Madeline Island because that's not part of the... Yeah. You could anchor around Madeline because that's not part of the national election. It's just probably going to be any. Um, but they had the state park close, I don't know if they did. Well, anyway, you couldn't really, and even if you could have anchored, you couldn't get out go anywhere but now they've opened it up so we can anchor off of Michigan and that's what we're gonna do tonight and we're gonna take our dinghy out over to the island. Yeah just when we go up to the lighthouse like we've done a couple times. This will also be the first time we've ever anchored. And the nice thing about Michigan is there's a huge area to anchor like is so it'll be a forgiving playground for us trying to figure out how to anchor. So yay! Because we have a what kind of anchor do we have? It's a drop there roll. Which doesn't have that roll bar that a lot of them do because of the way. Well, it interfered with our nav lights. So. Our nav lights, so. Anyway, we're off. Sailing Lake Superior. No dolphins, but still pretty cool. Dolphins. Some dolphins and brightly colored fish. <laughs> Although nobody else up here, we've never seen this before <laughs> on the Apostle Islands. The little at anchor circle thingy. Stefan's gonna put it up. He's very into proper signage. So, Sorry. yeah, if we were somewhere where the water was nice and warm, it looks warm, it's not. Um, no, if you go in this water, you better have a warm suit, whatever. Uh, or, no, yeah, I know what you're in for, I guess. Um, so in lieu of diving on the anchor, I'm going to take the dinghy in. I can't see it. I could see it as it was, as we backed down on it. So I'm going to go see if I can find it. You can see our rudder. Does it look good? I can't, that's all I can see. I can't see the keel and I can't see the... Uh, hmm. I think I'd be able to see the prop, but it must just be 
kind of up high enough or something. You know? The water's fairly clear though. There's the Inca line. Because it's too dark, I think. And if I could find the anchor, I might I'd probably be able to see the anchor, but I don't know exactly where it is because I can't follow oh, okay. the line all the way. It's it's really hard with the sun at a yeah. angle. I'll try again in the morning. Today, we're heading over to Raspberry Island, which is right there. Um, it's not a very far sail, but we are sailing. We're only going like 2.17 knots, but don't have anything else to do, do today, and it's a pretty close trip. So, anyway, we'll show you Raspberry Island. Whenever you want to tack. Uh, we'll wait. We'll, we'll tack once we get the next place. Okay. Because we're basically going to use the full width of this. Okay. Down here and just kind of sail back and forth and get a feel. Sail feel. Okay. So we're going to anchor right off that yeah, beach right, right that there. Yeah, right that point there. Or right, right kind of halfway along the beach. Okay. All right. Okay. Sounds good. This is where we're going to anchor. We're right at this point. Currently in the process, just letting the wind bring us around. It's very not so windy here though, so let me take a little bit. Okay, I'm going to try and let it bite now. Okay. For about three to one scope. Okay. Just leave it in neutral. I think the wind will bring us around. Okay, just tell me when you want me to do something. Yep. We are in about 19. Probably gained a little depth. I don't know, we're at, still at 19. It goes 19 to 20. Oh, okay. And the anchor's at 20, so okay. that's what we need. I'm going to put out, uh, I'm going to put out 140 feet. Okay. After anchoring, we jumped in Sam Bell and headed over to Raspberry Island Dock. Here we are at Raspberry Island. We go up there. Because of COVID, let's see what they have here. Maintain six feet separation, wear masks when around others. We do have our masks with. Wash your hands, avoid touching your eyes. So. No camping permitted, but it looks like we can still go up, so, yay! These are raspberries. I think that might be why it's called Raspberry Island. Yeah, we can see that from where we were anchored last night. So what's amazing is this whole operation, all these buildings, the keeper's quarters and all that stuff has been replaced by that. <laughs> Just one that little thing right there. The solar panel and an LED light. And we did see it from the boat last night, so. You could see it just fine. Yeah. So this is how they would get the Kohler, I don't know, everything I guess up. It's 
these have the steps have like tracks on them. Go all the way down. During non-COVID times, you get to tour all the buildings. Let me tell you everything. Theoretically, the park rangers are here, but I don't know where they are. There's the old lighthouse. We can't go up there because of COVID. We have been in some of the other lighthouses inside, but I don't think we're going to get to go in. Maybe next year. Oh, this must be a. So this is a mark for. For what? Well, when you align these two marks. Oh, for navigation. They must. Are they functional ones? They must be. So there's one. There's that one, and that one. What are those ones? What are they called? They have range, a name. Range, range marks? Range marks or something like that. Stefan's trying to line up the markers. Did you get them lined up? Yeah. You see, we kind of have it, like if I get it off a little, you can kind of see. Line it up. So they have, back then they had kerosene, coal, cool. and now they're solar. Propane. propane apparently. It's a nice big solar panel. Yeah, I wonder how big of a system. 165 what? watts. That's the our one panel is rated at 175. So it's bigger than that system. Bigger than that, but that just goes to show how much solar has changed in the last, you know, however many years since they put that in. So our one. Yeah, because if we had that many panels, holy crap, we'd have a. Our one flexible panel is at 175. And that whole thing is one. That one whole thing is, is 165. <laughs> well, early adapters. That is room for a lot of clothing. <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted to do the laundry. Next, we were off to Raspberry Island Beach. Private beach today. Private beach. On what island is it? This is still Raspberry. This is the other side. Yeah, this is just the other side of Raspberry. We are parked. Anchored, I guess, would be the appropriate word for this boat. There she is. The sails. Hanging out. I wonder where Stefan disappeared to. He's probably in the woods somewhere. Looks like a trail incident. Entrance slash exit for those trails we saw at the lighthouse. There's trails all over all these islands for hiking. This is the first time we used our new grill. Eating has commenced. Veggies grill, toss them with a little bit of seasoning afterward. Tofu. This gear's kind of burnt. I'm not used to grilling on a propane this grill. Are a fail. Well, I usually grill on charcoal and we can control the level of charcoal. Anyway, we're not going to do the gears next time. It is a silent evening on Raspberry Island, the Apostle Island. the 
frogs. Except for the frogs. There's some room. You can see the room. We are heading home today. Motor sailing. There's really early evening wind at all. Tried the pole for the first time, the jib. It's interesting, we've never done that before. Anyway, maybe if the wind picks up, we'll try sailing, but for now, ooh, we just got cell service, so now I can download maybe Alex on my phone. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, we are sailing. It's probably super windy, but we are sailing. And we are healing like seriously. It makes me nervous. Not right now, we're not, but we were. But we're learning. Yeah, when it gets up to this rate, this is when Kelly freaks out a little bit. Alright, so we brought the jib in a little bit and who's the main jib. So now we're not healing as much. Kelly's going to call her. Here's our marina. We're going to be coming in here. We're testing out our docking pink. We have this pink line perfectly measured out so that if I drop it on the first cleat, it'll keep us in there. This is the first time we're doing that, right? I mean, we measured it out last time. But anyway, I've got to pull the dinghy in. Pretty well this time with our pink line. Stefan told me to secure the bow line and then start pulling the stern line back before I had it done. So we veered out a little bit after everything was done, but we were safely docked already. Got the sail bag on. Stefan's hooking up shore power. Just wrapping up because we have to go home. Next week we check out Devil's Island and we finally make it on over to Michigan where they have two lighthouses. We really hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did, we'd love it if you could give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.